Lake and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of November 2020. Happy International Vegan Day! This is some of the leftovers of the coconuts, so de-husking coconuts in October. Waiting for the next wave of uh, lime. Right now we don't have much lime on this tree. On this tree has a little bit of lime, even tree drop lime over there I need to pick up. And because we don't have much lime, then I have replaced the lime in the smoothies with passion fruit. Even though I enjoy lime more because I can remove the seeds and I'm not so fond of eating seeds from fruit but maybe it's beneficial in some way I don't know or maybe it's an anti-nutrient the second wave of passion fruit is here there are passion fruit everywhere some mulberries are getting ripe here on the mulberry bush mulberry plant mulberry tree I already ate the, the ripe ones. It's still very wet. As you can see it's so wet even the outdoor bench like bamboo bench even though it has been treated with like cover burning there is mold growth. So what I can do is just like wait it out until the the dry season is here then it will disappear or I can cover burn it with a blowtorch the way you can treat the wood without using chemical paint and stuff or without using um, lacquer. The papaya tree that has fallen down it was so rainy and wet that it couldn't stand so it fell and the roots broke. I can show you the plant. These can be used for yeah papaya salads or maybe some of them will even ripen up but otherwise they will be compost. Yeah, this year the Mango trees were attacked by some kind of mold or fungi or something. So the new shoots died. This was the papaya tree that fell down down here. And I cut some of the pieces up and then I raised it. This is more of an experiment. You can see that the root there is broken. So it will be exciting to see if it just rots or if it survives, like restores itself. The mulberry dome in the creation, again, we are trying to like has like zip tied them together steady flow of papayas this is almost ready to get picked if it gets too orange it already is like overripe and loses its sweetness it's very crazy right now i'm very surprised with the a spider with the water system here it's still alive I don't remember when I I mean I've not, not replaced the batteries I not charged the batteries so and it has been running every day not every other day and just securing some a little bit of water for the durian and, and the other plants but right now there's no need but I just wanted to see how long it can run it, it has it has run for I think more than two months or three months I don't know I need to go back to see when I started to make this in the in the videos. The avocados are thriving in the avocado school, the avocado nursery. The jackfruit nursery is getting tall. Now they are like grown up. Maybe it's just decoration jackfruits near the bathroom. And we're still waiting for this avocado to get flowers and fruit. You spot the pumpkin? What the? Red Cavendish. All the other years, except this year, there, this would be a complete dry area. But it's still very green and there's a lot of moisture and a lot of rain. So we can... Uh, I've tried to plant some more pumpkin around here. Because all the others uh, have died and like were harvested and then pumpkin die and then they're in a permaculture setup there will be some pumpkins left over left over here and then they would um, just uh, regrow but we harvest them all so we need to like plant them again with the uh, new seeds 
So around, let's see. I'm just keeping planting new and see how long it will last until it gets so dry that nothing can grow. When I say nothing, then I mean pumpkin or like greens, other like small plants. Trees, fruit trees can can survive the, the dry dry season and also it's very beneficial for like mangoes that there is a dry season because it will make them fruit automatically. This land, neighboring land, is how it looks when you use herbicides for yeah for the weed. Here is where we cut the grass with the weed whacker or right now I'm not able to keep up with the electric lawnmower because it's so wet so it doesn't make it's just so hard to do with an electric lawnmower. A good weed whacker is very beneficial. In the beginning I was I purchased a two cylinder engine but it doesn't it's not really good. You need to mix oil into the gasoline. So the best thing is just to buy a four cylinder engine like the Honda 35X. I'm not sponsored or anything, but this is just a good engine that like many use around here in, in this area and probably many other places. So the, the 35 is not too heavy, it's not too light, it has enough power and it's really like it, it can like the consumption of oil and 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 gasoline is so low that it will like re like it it's it's a very good investment if you need to like cut some weed or grass or yeah it's it's like for if you if you're one person that needs to take care of one hectare or more of land then it's it's good the child red cavendish is still going good the banana guardians have cut the leaves and now the, the avocados are still surviving so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this but it's also like the moisture and the rain is like enough for for new trees to establish themselves hopefully and maybe they will survive the, the dry season let's see more passion fruit in this area look at that i didn't see that papaya it's getting eaten by birds and bugs i need to take that one otherwise it will happen the same like that they cut the trees in the neighboring land probably for to sell them it's tough in the COVID times we also had uh, quite some asparagus here in october